Take a look at these two images. One is of an authentic oxycodone pill, the other is fake. Can you tell the difference? Well, the average person can't, and that's something drug cartels are taking advantage of. There are two cartels operating in Mexico, the Sinaloa Cartel and the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, or CJNG, who are responsible for producing all of the fentanyl and methamphetamine that are ending up in the United States and all of our communities. John Delina, assistant special agent in charge for DEA New England, says those cartels are sourced by chemical supply companies in China. Using pill pressers like this one, the cartels are trafficking fentanyl into the United States as counterfeit pills, crossing the border and heading to big cities like New York and Boston before they're filtered into New Hampshire and throughout New England. And they've started using bright colors to shape the pills in order to attract younger buyers. All they need is those chemicals and they can produce it far beyond anything we have ever seen in the past. So who are they targeting? Well, they're targeting every single possible American that they can. Again, relentless expansion through addiction is their, is their business model. And we are seeing fentanyl in very high numbers since about 2015 or 2016, and no sign of, of letting up. Melissa Staples is the lab director of New Hampshire's Forensic Lab. News 9 Investigates was recently granted access. Fentanyl's taken over as the lead drug in the state um, and, and far surpasses any other drug that we're seeing these days. Last year, Staples and her team tested 4,000 drug samples for criminal cases. 1,800 of those samples contained fentanyl. And so some of these people who are, are buying their pills off the streets could obviously be taking something they did not intend to take at all, and that could have very adverse consequences. The DEA says it only takes a small amount of fentanyl, just two milligrams, to kill a person. Now that's small enough to fit on the tip of a pencil. Our family has been destroyed from fentanyl. Fentanyl is destroying families across the country. In April of 2020, Andrea Cahill's 19-year-old son, Tyler, took what he thought was a Percocet to help ease the pain of a recent tattoo. But it was a fake pill laced with fentanyl. Tyler's father found him dead in his bed the next day. Rich called 911 and started CPR um, and he was pronounced dead about 9.30 in the morning. Tyler's story is one that resonates with families across the country. According to the CDC last year, fentanyl was the leading cause of death for Americans between the ages of 25 and 44. We had 107,622 Americans die of a drug poisoning last year. Those numbers themselves are staggering. But those numbers will never change the business model of these cartels. They'll just double down because what they look at is how many more Americans are behind them that we can possibly addict. Tim Callery, News 9 Investigates.